Hi there and welcome to Hike Much, a channel where we test and review all kinds of hiking and camping gear. In this review, we'll check out the best sport 3 season backpacking tent, so stay tuned for that. This tent a few months ago because I needed a new tent for overnight camping in the local forests. I wanted something cheap, lightweight and somewhat compact. When I went online, for me the best sport tent stood out the most. It was one of the most popular and well-reviewed options on Amazon, so I had to try it out. The other option was the Alps Mountaineering Lynx, but I couldn't get it here in Europe, so I went with best sport as both of them are very similar. Personally, I like the light green option better, but I ended up with the orange one, only because it was much cheaper at the time. It's also available in grey, but I'm not a big fan of that one. I got the two-person size, but it's also available as a one-person tent. They also offer two and a half and three and a half person options, but that's a slightly different model with some minor differences. I got the two-person option because sometimes I won't be hiking alone. The weight differences between the one-person and two-person options weren't that huge. So far I've stayed in this tent for about three nights, so by now I know most of the pros and cons of this tent. Anyway, let's start by checking out how well everything's packaged and then switch to some footage where I actually assemble everything in the forest. When it's packaged, it's roughly 43 centimeters or 17 inches in length and 17 centimeters or 7 inches in diameter. So obviously it isn't the most compact tent, especially for checking and hiking, but it's also not too large. If you'll be bringing a stove, a sleeping bag, a sleeping pad and other stuff, then you'll probably need at least a 50 liter backpack for this tent. In total it weighs 2.3 kilograms or 5.2 pounds. The one person option weighs 2 kilograms or 4.4 pounds. So the weight difference isn't too large between them. Of course it's not the most lightweight tent, but between all the cheaper options it's one of the lightest tents on the market. When everything's packaged, it's assembled in this bag right here. I like that it's not too overstuffed because it's easier to put everything inside. Speaking of that, I also very much enjoy the fact that they've included this strap with an adjustable clip which also makes the process much easier. When you open the bag up, you'll find 12 stakes, 2 poles, a rainfly cover with 4 guy lines, the inner tent and an attachable fabric mesh shelf. Before I show you how I set everything up, let's talk about the stakes and poles. The best sport 3 season backpacking tent comes with aluminum stakes and aluminum poles, which are very light. The two poles assemble really quickly because they snap in place with magnets. They're really easy to use when you're building the tent up yourself. There are 12 stakes included which are also very light, but I already managed to bend one of them, so they might not last that long. But should be told, it was probably my own fault because I used my foot for securing the stake, which you should never do to avoid bending them. By the way, if you won't be using the tent in windy conditions, then you can use only 6 stakes instead of all 12. Now let's switch to a time-lapse of how long it took me to assemble the tent. In total, it took me 5 minutes and 45 seconds from start to finish, so a pretty good result. It's so easy to set up because it uses only 2 poles which attach with clips and because the rainfly cover attaches with 4 clips on each corner. Also there aren't any additional poles for the entrances which makes setting everything up faster. In total I used 8 stakes for setting everything up. I didn't use the 4 additional ones for the guy lines because it wasn't too windy outside. But if you'd want to, the guy lines are really easy to set up and if they're tied down properly the tent won't shake too much in high winds which means that the stakes won't be coming out from all the shaking. The outside dimensions for the best sport 2 person tent are 2.2 meters or 86 inches in length 1.2 meters or 48 inches in width and 1.1 meters or 43 inches in height. 
The one person option is almost identical except it's 85 centimeters or 33 inches in width. They've used 68D polyester for the rainfly and the inner part. And the floor is made from Oxford cloth. All seams are thermally sealed, which means that you'll be able to use this tent in heavy rain. According to their own specifications, it's rated to 3000 millimeters of rain. I've actually slept in this tent once where there were heavy winds and rainfall during the night. And when I woke up, nothing was wet inside. So I can confirm that indeed it is a waterproof tent. Also, the waterproof part of the inner tent is lifted up pretty high from the ground, which means that no water can get in, even if you built it in a puddle or something. This is a three season tent, which means that it's meant to be used in the spring, summer, autumn, but not winter. If you'll be using it in the summer and it won't be raining, you could skip the rainfly and just set up the inner part and sleep in that. The top part of the tent is made from a fabric mesh, which means that it will be pretty ventilated and that you won't get cold. But if you'll be using it in autumn or spring with temperatures at above 5 degrees Celsius or 40 degrees Fahrenheit, then you should set it up with the rainfly and open both ventilation holes on the top. This tent isn't meant to be used in the winter because it's too ventilated. Four season tents usually have two walls for trapping some heat inside, but here you only have one or maybe one and a half. I learned that the hard way because I slept in this tent once when it was below freezing and man was it a bad experience. I woke up a few times during the night to exercise and relight the fire because it was too cold. In the end, I dismantled both entrances, closed both ventilation holes to keep some air inside and laid some pinewood branches underneath the tent. So yeah, don't use it in winter unless you have a really really warm sleeping bag and some thick sleeping pads underneath it. Now let's check out the inside of the tent. Both the entrances have a single zipper in the rainfly which opens and closes quite smoothly. You can easily roll up the doors and secure them if you want to. The inner part uses a long round zipper which opens the main door and you can easily stow away the fabric door so it doesn't get in your way. This tent has two identical entrances on each side. I usually put my backpack in one of them and my cooking stuff in the other one. The inside is very spacious. Actually it's one of the most spacious two-person tents I've seen. There's enough room for your feet and head and it's very high which means that you can easily move around in there. For reference I'm 1.84 meters or 6 feet in height. There's enough room for two people in there and there's even some room left in the middle for a backpack or something similar. You'll also find a pocket in each of the corner, so in total four pockets for organizing all of your items. Also there's a detachable fabric mesh shelf on the top which is great for drying your socks or gloves. And finally there's a hook attached to the top where you can hang your flashlight. Now let's check out how long it takes for me to dismantle everything. So in total, it took me 5 minutes and 30 seconds from start to finish, which really isn't that bad. Supposedly, the best sport 3 season tent also comes with a limited lifetime warranty. But you know, I wouldn't really count on that. I couldn't find any information about their warranty outside of Amazon, and they're essentially a cheap Chinese brand. So I'd say that your chances of getting a return or repair are pretty slim. But now let's talk about my final verdict on the best sport backpacking tent. Is it the cheapest option out there? Not really. Is it the most lightweight or the most callback option? Nope. Is it a very durable tent? I don't think so. But having said all of that, I still think that it is a very solid option if you're low on budget and you're looking to get the best out of everything. It's quick to set up, it's somewhat compact when it's packed, it's not too heavy, it's completely waterproof, and overall it doesn't look like anything will break anytime soon. Sure, there are a few loose threads here and there and the stakes can be bent easily, but other than that I really have nothing bad to say about this tent. If it's your first backpacking tent, then go for it. 
later down the road you can update to a more durable and lighter option, which will probably cost three times as much. Well, that's about it. If you're new to High Punch, we post helpful hiking gear reviews just like this one, do some hiking on our own, and in general cover a lot of stuff about hiking gear. If you're into hiking, you'll find our videos useful, so make sure to subscribe to our channel to not miss out on any of our future videos. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.